body again. Thank you. Um, let me share my screen. Um, can you see my screen? I think so. Yes. Thank you. So basically what I will describe today is uh, uh, the integration test. So we started to, or better, uh, there was some work done already some time ago that uh, Christoph uh, started. And uh, now I took it again and uh, adjusted it and created new integration test. So now we have uh, uh, three, four integration tests that we created and they are under the uh, integration test uh, repository in the TOT station. So as you can see, uh, the integration tests we have are based on <clears throat> on the package called behave, which use this uh, Gherkin language. Uh, basically, this uh, um, this package follow uh, an agile software development uh, practice, which is called uh, behavior driven development. So basically, you mix uh, non technical people with technical people, so you allow to work uh, better in describing and defining this. Uh, uh, integration test because uh, what happens is that uh, you can define this integration test uh, in uh, natural language and this natural language is backed by Python code. So if we have uh, an example, let's have a look. So I'm writing one integration test uh, for solvers. So there is a specific keywords that you, you need to use, which are from the, from this language in behave. And basically, you need to create uh, a feature, which is basically a high-level description of what you want to do. Then you have uh, scenarios, which are uh, examples. So basically, here I state what I want to do. So the, the general feature is that uh, I want to check the thought as uh, minimum solvers available. That means that I can, uh, uh, that, that they are used in, um, in solving packages. And the example or scenario is that uh, I want to check that there are these uh, three minimum solvers. So basically you can state uh, uh, that some steps that needs to be done in natural language with uh, also tables. And uh, the three typical uh, keywords are given something. Uh, then when something happened, then, then you are going to receive a result. So basically follow this pattern and uh, this is uh, uh, quite easy to, to, to define. Actually, um, when you start to write these uh, uh, steps, for example, if I add another step here, so given deployment is accessible using HTTPS um, and, uh, you know, host is uh, uh, known, for example, if you try to run uh, this uh, integration test, for example, which is usually done just with the uh, pipem run behave, you will see here the steps and uh, you see immediately that there is uh, a steps missing. So what you could do is uh, just uh, copy this and add it to the solvers um, function. And basically, this this becomes quite uh, easy, and you can continue to develop quite easy all of them. But um, we don't need this. And other useful thing is that uh, when you create these steps, these steps can be present uh, in one of this uh, Python file, and you don't need to recreate for each of them. So you can have uh, many features and reuse the same one, but you just need to create it uh, once. So this is uh, created once in uh, one specific file, and you don't need to recreate because uh, the package is able to look into the features and into the files that there are under steps. And basically this is also uh, quite easy. And last thing is, Basically, you can run uh, single solvers or specific uh, solvers, or you can run basically, sorry. Um, no, 
Yes. And run basically all of them running. And this is quite straightforward. You could see each of the steps and each of the scenarios, and you will receive a report at the end regarding the packages that are, oh yeah, sorry, the features which are not successful. And I will stop here because now is, well, waiting for an advice. So I don't know how much time it will take. But meanwhile, you can ask a question if you have. Thank you. No question? Then thank you very much and see you next time.